me turn the camera a little bit so you can see me as well. Alright, so everything's kind of a mess and I gotta be careful I don't knock stuff off, but we should be good. Um, let me go back here. Uh, we'll start with the Z axis. Take it in 10 millimeter steps. Take it up 50 millimeters. Now I've got the speeds set very slow right now because I don't want things crashing and banging. Once I get everything dialed in and secure and solid, then I'll crank the speeds up and we'll see what this thing will do. But let me take it up another 50. I've got the steps per millimeter dialed in. Pretty accurate. Let me back up and go to the X axis. Nine meters per step. 400 millimeters. Everything is running nice and smooth and quiet. Comes right back to zero the way it's supposed to, so. Very happy. It's all it's all doing good. Long time coming. All right, now let me take the uh, back down to zero before I forget it. I don't have any homing in stop switches on it or anything. I don't have any in stop switches on it, and uh, so it won't auto home. And I can tell you right now that taking and hand screwing two 600 millimeter lead screws all the way down to home position is a royal pain in the ass. So now that I've got it down there somewhat, I want to make sure I always take it back to zero. So There is the uh, X and Z axis. I haven't done anything with the extruder at all, ever, yet. Uh, customized the uh, main screen, so it's got my name on it. That's about it. 